Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to make a scheduled task that automatically updates in Excel file, which in turn is connected to a tickets list in SharePoint. So in previous demo, I've set up this landing page for a small help desk system, and I've shown you the problems of the solution that you manually have to open this file and uh, refresh it. So now I'm gonna do a schedule task for that. And I've written this script already here in my documents. I'm gonna go through that line by line. So what that does is creates an Excel application object. So of course you do need to have Excel installed. Let's increase the size here so this becomes easier to read. All right, so we're creating the Excel application and then we're opening the workbook. And as you'll notice, I'm opening directly from the URL to that file, which I get by opening the file in Excel. And I'll enable all that and edit the workbook. There we go, under the file, and there we have the properties there. If I click on that and copy the link to the clipboard, then I get that. And here's the URL that I get. Notice that I do need to remove question mark web equals hit one. So that's the URL, I'm opening that directly. For this to work, you do of course have to save the password in your browser. Then I sleep for a second, that's 1000 milliseconds, just to make sure that that file is actually opened. And then I refresh all the external data ranges, and then I save and close it and quit Excel. So that's my script. I'll save that. And now to run that script, Go back to where I was here in the browser. Now I'm going to run the script. And I can, of course, run that by just opening it, and it will open with the VB script runtime installed in this case on Windows 2012 server. But I do want to create a scheduled task, so I'm going to do that so that this happens often. I'm going to go into Task Scheduler. I'm going to create a basic task, and then I'll call that Update Tickets. I'm going to click on next, say that this should run daily, and start right away, start a program, that's what I want to do. I'm just going to browse to that VBS file, next, and uh, then I'm going to open the properties dialog because I actually want this to be repeated. And so the trigger would be daily, but I want that to repeat, repeat every five minutes or so. I can even put that down to one minute if I want. There we go, and the action of course there, yep, we're all set. And now I also want to enable the all tasks history so I can get history on what's happening here. So I'll start running this now. Run, and it's 9.19 a.m. now. So now it's running, and we can go into the task manager, you should see Excel here. There's Excel, up and running. And now Excel closed down, so we can go in here, check our documents, and see that this was indeed updated a few seconds ago. So if I had actually made any changes uh, to my data, the spreadsheet would, of course, have been updated too. But that shows you how to create a schedule task that runs an update. You do need to log in to Excel though. If you have Excel 2013 as part of the Office 365 Pro Plus license, not the regular Office 2013 license, then your subscription needs to be updated. So if you have this version, the Office 365 Pro Plus, then you need to log in once a month to make sure that this continues to work. But I would of course recommend installing the regular Office 2013, which only requires a license key or a product key. Then you can just keep that running in the background. So that concludes my demo on how to make an auto-updating Excel spreadsheet with a task scheduler. Thank you for watching this demonstration.